Meanwhile, there are many other undocumented migrants who are crossing into the United States and presenting themselves to Border Patrol seeking asylum. Within the last few weeks, Immigration and Custom Enforcement has been dropping off many of these migrant families in different locations throughout the state. Cronkite News reporter Cammie Clark went to Tucson, where one organization had no other choice but to turn a roadside motel into a shelter. Many of the charities that normally step in and help in this kind of situation say they're overwhelmed by the number of migrants being dropped off by ICE authorities. Both of the men we spoke to asked that their full names not be used after just arriving to the motel, located on the south side of town. One room has been turned into a makeshift hospital. Here, they separate donated clothes depending on size and who it's for. And in this one, they make pupusas that are a staple of Central American food. This Tucson motel has been transformed into a welcome slash processing center for hundreds of undocumented immigrants. Catholic Community Services rented the motel after its church facilities didn't have enough capacity. Now it's these rooms the migrants are calling home after surviving their journey into the United States. Desde el primer día, este, sentimos un miedo. Eh. En, en camiones va eh, sobrecargados uno tras otro y, y mucho peligro. Most of the migrants staying at the motel are from Guatemala, and that includes many families with small children. Ahora al venir acá y, y nos damos cuenta otra realidad porque ya con el GPS pues dicen que no tenemos permiso de trabajar. Es muy duro. En primer lugar, dejar uno a su familia y emigrar para acá a lo que es los Estados Unidos. En primer lugar, uno se encomienda primero a Dios y luego, y luego para poder ver si uno logra llegar. The motel is staffed by volunteers as migrants continue to get dropped off every day. Tucson City Councilman Steve Kazachek has been collecting donations and says that the drop-offs are a coordinated political move by federal authorities. Because it's, it's great optics, it's, it's a great narrative in the, right at the beginning of an election cycle to say we are being overrun on the border by these illegals and we have to elect strong border candidates. In the meantime, the migrants keep coming, risking it all, they say, because of criminal gangs, the domestic violence, and non-existent employment back home. When I came to Guatemala, I didn't have any centavo, any quetzal. What I did was to take my house. One comes with the illusion of working, with the hope of taking the family forward, and that we can have the opportunity to get a job, but in reality, it's very difficult. Cronkite News specifically asked ICE about Councilman Kazachek's allegations. They did not respond to our question. They did say, however, they are simply abiding by the Flores Settlement Agreement, which requires federal authorities to release undocumented immigrant children in detention without unnecessary delays. From the Broadcast Center, Cami Clark, Cronkite News.